Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, if you like, my name is Myra Murison and welcome to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the title, my Calatia Plant Diary is back as promised the spring but it's summer now so yeah hey -oh. so today we are going to talk about this beautiful plant my calatia leopardina but to all who are new here i do collect calatia plants well known as prayer plants um i don't have a lot of them but i have 11 of them um i like sharing their journeys with me that's why i make calatia plant diary video um, so yeah, I just want to share with you my experiences with them as well as giving you care tips and how to take care of them. However, we may live in different environments so you have to take that into consideration with your plants. Uh, this plant care works for me, might not work for you so you have to be aware of that because it's only you who can tell what your plants need so i just want to disclose that anyway i will link the playlist of my calatia plant diaries in the description bar so you can check them out so without further ado please subscribe hit the bell get your tea ready and let's get into this video Okay guys, meet my Kalecha Lepartina. She's still pretty and thriving. Um, I bought this last summer, June to be exact. So it's actually one year old now. And I haven't repotted this plant yet because it's not root bound. As you can see, it's still in the nursery pot. Um, well, majority of my Kalecha plants are in nursery pot anyway. But what I meant, I haven't repotted this plant since I have bought it. It actually says here, say $6.99. So it's seven pounds, so it's really, really cheap. And I love it. So this prayer plant is one of the easiest Caladia out there, at least for me. I, in fact, I considered it one of my neglected plants. I water it when needed. Uh, but of course, as a typical Calatia, it likes soil to be moist. So yeah, however, this one is a little forgiving. You can let the soil dry a little and it's still doing very well. Uh, this Leopardina is doing very well this winter. I don't have any problem at all. But I noticed they started to get brown tips uh, due to lack of humidity, especially during winter where the air was so dry and cold at night but apart from that uh, the plant is happy my leopardina is happy um anyway uh, i don't use humidifier at home i got rid of my humidifier because the damage it did to my spare room um but everything's okay now if you want to see it i will link in the description bar so you can check that out um anyway during uh, winter or in the winter time, I was pretty strict with watering my plants because you don't want to overwater your plants to prevent root rot. But to be honest guys, my Calatia Maui Queen, uh, Compact Star and Zebrina, they're always thirsty. They just keep growing and growing, especially the Calatia Maui Queen and my Compact Star. They're like they're having a competition. So, yeah, it's insane, guys. It's insane. So, like I said before, this plant is very forgiving. Um, it doesn't mind the soil being a bit dry, but keep an eye on it because it might be okay for my plant, but it might be different for you because it really depends on your environment. I'm just giving you what I have observed with my Calatia leopardina. But Calatia plants prefer their soil moist, so you have to remember that. So as you can see, it still has this small damaged leaf. It was already there when I bought this and the same thing with this one leaf here. I just don't want to remove them because it doesn't cause any problems with this plant because if I did, I'm scared that's where the problems will start. Calatia plants are so sensitive. Like I said before, they don't want to be disturbed. Anyway, in terms of water, I use filtered water only. I use rain water as well, but I can't remember when was the last time I gave it rain water. Ages probably, but the plant is happy with filtered uh, water only. There's brown tips, but that it is. 
Um, so yeah, like I said before, brown tips doesn't bother me at all as long as the plant is happy and thriving. We are both happy. Um, to be honest, even in the jungle, plants get brown tips and brown edges. So I think it's just the way it is, like a jungle life. So yeah, as long as the plant is happy and thriving. Because if not, then you are having problem, guys. Right, humidity. Despite of my living room is lack of humidity, all my plants here are thriving. Do you have no idea, guys? They are getting insane. I have a planter coming up soon, so stay tuned. Um, the only plants that didn't make it here were my Calathea medallion, my Picturata. Uh, they went dormant or died this winter, and my Calathea arnata is still recuperating. But apart from that, my prayer plant are happy and thriving so yeah if you want to see more details about my Calathea plants that went dormant link up above or I will link it in the description bar okay soil wise uh, like I said before I haven't repotted this plant yet but if I will I will use multi-purpose soil or compost with orchid mixture and perlite that's it no fuss I actually used multi-purpose soil only for my Calathea compact star and it is happy. I mean, as long as your plant is liking it and it's happy, I don't see a problem, guys. So why make a change if your plant is happy? I just don't get it, guys. Just don't get it. Right, fertilizer. I did mention before that I don't like fertilizing my house plants because I had a bad experience with fertilizer. I killed a lot of plants because of it. Um, but part of it was my fault. You don't fertilize your house plants in the winter. So yeah, uh, I learned my lesson. So this spring, I used this all-purpose uh, plant food. Um, it's a slow release uh, fertilizer. You can also use it for outdoor. And uh, yeah, so far my plants are loving it. So here we go, guys. I will link it in the description bar. Lastly, lighting. Um, this leopardina used to be sitting on top of my coffee table, five feet away from my north facing window and it's receiving a uh, medium light most of the time and she's very happy and uh, in fact all of my colleges are um, i actually have one plant that's sitting in the dark corner and it's not receiving amount of light at all and it's happy she is doing very well there and you will meet her soon guys but Anyway, this plant is now sitting on my windowsill and it's happy as Larry and has baby leaves now so I'm very pleased with that. Um, there's nothing much to say about this plant apart from it's very happy. Its leaves are green lush and vibrant. I love the markings, almost like an animal print. Also, this plant looks fake in person because the color is so vibrant and it's like a uh, neon green even the stems so yeah it's pretty guys so pretty and i love it like i said before don't worry about the brown tips it's just the way they are uh it's impossible to keep them perfect like humans nobody's perfect so yeah as long as uh, they are happy or and thriving um leave them alone and let them do their thing and i have a video on how to take care of calathea plants i will leave it in the description bar so you can check it out and i think that's it guys Alrighty, please give this video a thumbs up and thank you for tuning in i have more calathea plant diary coming on your way so please don't forget to subscribe and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time bye